Do you encourage people to remove themselves from general society for their spiritual or personal development? With regard to personal development, I feel it is very, very important that we do not restrict ourselves from society or restrict ourselves from our life. There are times when we need privacy and there are times when it's great to involve other people in our lives. I do believe that there are times privacy is a requirement to actually develop love, truth and humility in our lives. But I feel that we need to learn to live our lives in the world. In the first century I said quite clearly to people that you want, you want to be no part of the world but live in the world. The reason why this is so important is because when you're living in the world, the law of attraction works perfectly and brings to you events that allow you to see where you're out of harmony with love and truth and allow you to work through these particular issues. If you remove yourself from society, remove yourself from your family, remove yourself from the friends, unless you have very strong reasons for doing so, and I feel the only strong reason is that those society, family or friends are acting violently towards you. Aside from that, you, there's very good reasons to engage your family, engage your friends and engage society in harmony with love and truth because you will learn a lot during that process. And in the process of learning, you'll learn what love is, you'll learn what truth, the power of truth is, you'll learn more humility, you'll learn how to grow your soul. And the world that we live in is like this great big playground reflecting back to ourselves, our own condition. And so when we live in the world around us, we have this beautiful ability to grow from the experiences that we have in the world around us. And this is what I feel anybody who restricts themselves from the world around them is, is preventing. So, so I do not agree with people who become religious restricting themselves into their own religion, restricting themselves into their own faith, restricting themselves into a monastery, restricting themselves into some kind of uh, protected enclave, some kind of compound uh, or something like that. Because, because all of these things do not allow God's laws to act fluidly with the individual in helping the person change. God put us in the world so that we live in the world itself, so that we, so the world and every creature in it and every person in it reflects back to us what's going on and, and helps us to grow. This is a beautiful thing that God has done. And every time we close down or restrict our uh, world and we make our world smaller, we are actually restricting the potential for our own growth. So I feel it's very damaging to restrict the potential for your own growth. And the reason why it's damaging is because it slows down your own progression. And what you want, if you want to be developed as an individual and develop in love and develop in truth, is you want to progress as rapidly as you can rather than slowing down your progression. So I would encourage everybody to share with the world everything in their life with one exception, and that is when the world or people in the world or individuals in the world become violent towards yourself, where they attempt to restrict your own will, then al allow yourself to step away from those interactions. That's what personal love for yourself would do. But aside from that, spend time in the world. Enjoy following your desires and passions in harmony with love in the world. You will learn the most if you do this, and you will learn the most rapidly as well if you continue to progress in this manner.